fam, what's poppin'? It's my boy Uncle No Punk, boy Uncle No Punk. But another short one just for you. This video's gonna be about friendship, you know what I'm saying? Little young blood on the block here. No, he didn't take heed to Uncle No Punk warning. I told him last year, last year, I see him out there moving a little reckless, you know? So I stepped to a young brother one day and I talked, I said, you need to know, you need to chill out, man, do the shit that you're doing. Cause I told him you're being noticed too much. You know, everyone starts talking about you inside the neighborhood type shit, you know what I'm saying? Right? But he didn't take heed to that shit there. So he told his friends and homies and us and stuff like that. So one day, it was like last year, it had to be about like May. It wasn't last year, but it was like maybe like May time, about six months ago or some shit like that. It was a little warm springtime, you know? See a young blood there looking a little um, depressed. Yo, come here, man, you know? Just rolled up a little something, you know? Puffed out, you know, a little peace pipe with him and... and I want to listen to what he got to talk about. I see he was distressed. I said, what's up, young blood? How you doing, man? He was talking about, um, she just got released out of um, county, right? County jail. County jail. Mom's had paid. I've got much money she mom's had paid for him, but his mom's ain't got no money, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like an extra burden on mama there, right? Anyway, the little dude I warned him about, you know, the little motherfucker always run his goddamn mouth around. I told you, she be up that dude. This will end you in bad trouble. So now that's what happens. Arm robbery, you no, know, arm robbery. They got busted for, right? But he said something that um that made me laugh. He said, yeah, and dude snitched on him. He said he snitched on me. He snitched. He said, you know, that he was, I guess, had the most hand in this shit, right? But I know God knows it's not true. <laughs> I know it's not true. That little other guy didn't do it. He's a little savage, a little meathead who deserves some jail time. You know what I'm saying? But the other little brother there, nah, he don't do that. He's not built to be locked up inside no goddamn jail. You know what I'm saying? But he's a young blood. He got to do it. But I mean, he, he, he going to do some time, Dev. I believe that. He's going to do some time, right? But anyway, like I was telling him before, I said, um, he was saying, my friends are homies. I said, let's say, young blood, these dudes that you hang around now are just associates. These are people that's in your life right now. But once you leave, go somewhere else, you're not going to be friends, friends, friends. You're not going to stay in touch always. You know what I'm trying to tell him like that, there, right? He said, what you mean, um? I said, let's say, I'm going about my life here. Yeah? And you better fucking take heed. I told him this shit here. I said, when I was a young blood, it really came to me. Uh, I was about 15 years old, 15 years old. And me and homeboy got into a spat. You know, a little spat, you know what I'm saying? I never knew what the reason was for the spat until maybe <laughs> almost 30 years later. Almost 30 years later, you know? But like this, uh, we used to do dumb shit street, Vicky motherfuckers. You know, I'm old school, I said Vic. You know, your young blood boy know what Vicky mean. Sticking motherfuckers up, you know what I'm saying? But my hands don't. You know what I'm saying? We're doing that shit always. Pop, 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 beat money. Sheepskins, leather jackets. Whatever well, the fuck it is, you know? Just taking money, going down to the deuce, getting the OJ service. Remember the OJ service? Um, uh, touch a class, touch a class. You from NYC? Touch a class in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? We just do our shit together, right? But um, we got to a point to where he felt he wanted to challenge me, but I did not know why. You know what I'm saying? We would do dumb shit. Then people at the end of the day say, oh, homeboy says about you. No, yeah, yeah, but no, can they come to me stepped about this shit there? We we do dumb shit, right? And I was like, damn. But then it come to a point where we had a little scrap. I had two scraps. The first scrap, like I said, I don't, I don't even know what's going on because I did. I did, it was like I, I disliked them. You know, it's like I thought it was cool. So it was surprising me coming at me, blah, 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 blah. so pop, pop, boom, boom. We fighting this shit. Got his shirt torn off. We scrap on the corner. Every goddamn thing, right? So the next time, it's okay. Broke that up, cool, draw. Y'all gonna fight again, right? You always got some motherfucker instigating some old, older dude wanting to see y'all fight, right? So cool. So the second fight, we're going out to Glass Hammer inside the garage. I never been inside a garage in my goddamn life. I remember we came, we, you know, you know, you're squaring up, you know, 15 years old. I mean, I backed up, I'm in a wall or a car. I think it was a wall. I backed the wall. When I looked, see what I bumped into, I did like that. And by the time I looked back, the punch was coming. The punch seemed slow as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> I seen it. It was like, yeah, bah! that was the end of the goddamn fight. I was not knocked out, fam, but my shoe was like, woo, popped up. And fuck, I was like, watery, you know, I was like, damn, you know, like, boom, 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 boom. So I broke that shit up, right? So it was cool. No, it wasn't no goddamn thing. You know, little blood bath they say, yo, 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 chill out, chill out, there, there. But the whole point about it, until then, we was all friends, supposedly all friends, right? But it was time to, time to, time to do the do. Nobody was standing on my side. But I think one or two people, one or two people, they wasn't even, 
the close ones in our clique doing the dumb shit that we was doing. You know what I'm saying? So most of these I was hanging out with, no more they stand on my side or whatever. It's like over there. But I understood that later. I was like, hold up, these motherfuckers are bitches. You know, they wouldn't probably scrap with them. So that's why they stay on this goddamn side over there. You know what I'm saying? Damn sure. I, I thought that. I was like, damn, you ain't got no fucking friends. But very few. Very few. You no, know, very few, right? That's how the homeboy to my ear, man. You make videos, right? You need to make a video about us, about your friends back home. Fuck the motherfuckers. I'm telling you straight the fuck up. I don't hear that shit there. The dude that hit me in the goddamn arm, love him to death. Did 20 years in prison, right? Did 20 years in prison. I stayed with him. I did his time with him. He could do his time for writing letters and things like that. Always stay in contact with him, you know what I'm saying? When I came off from the military, I like, where you at? You know what I'm saying? Because his code D was home. You know, my, my other home. I'm like, yo, what up, man? Da, da, da. He did a little time. But my other homeboy, you know, he, he um, I guess he pulled the trigger. So he had to fucking do, I think, 15 life. But they let him out after um, day 19, you know. I was there at 15. I was writing for the parole board. Sending letters in for parole board. And all, I, I did all that shit for him. You know what I'm saying? Got much love for him. He got much love for me, right? But, like I said, after 30 years, I never knew what the fuck he was. Then I asked, I said, motherfucker, you, you kept coming at me when we had two fights, and I never knew what the fucking reason was. I told him it was not no fear. It was something that I was like, why? You know, why? Then he told me the reason why. I was like, you stupid motherfucker. He liked it, my cousin. He liked it, my cousin. That's why he, I guess he couldn't show his feelings. You know how some people that, uh, they act tough, but they're really shy. You know, but just, they could come out, but it, they, they want something, they don't, they don't know how to really get it. And that's the way he was, you know what I'm saying? That's the way he was. He told me that shit, I started fucking laughing. I said, motherfucker, you hit me in my eye, black man, black my fucking eye, swole that motherfucker, oh, because you like my cousin. What the fuck I got to do with that shit? I said, you crazy motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. So when I come back home, you owe me a goddamn good drink, goddamn, and a hug, because I still love you, right? But the whole point was it, no one stood on my side. I was like, I can see if I was doing some dumb shit, trifling shit. But sometimes I know nothing about. But it was a good learning experience, you young buzz out there. It was a good learning experience. After that, I was like, fuck these motherfuckers here. Fuck them. Damn sure, fuck them. They ain't stay on my side back then. So they gonna stay. Be, be my friend now? Fuck no. No, no. Like I said, we were associates. It was a point in that time in the 80s, whatever, late 70s, we was hanging together because we lived in the same building, the same area. But it wasn't really... um. Ten toes down for each other. That's what like I said about it. It wasn't ten toes down. Even in my project, you know what I'm saying? Back in days, it wasn't tight-knit as other projects was, you know what I'm saying? At home, was they lived like in polo grounds, you no know, building for, you no know, my boy Rob Pierce. If anybody know him out there, Rob Pierce, I, I, I miss that brother, you know what I'm saying? I like, hope you get in contact, you know, and, and, you know see, see my face and, you know, just see if he's okay. But anybody know if I'm waiting for polo grounds, building for Robert Pierce. Robert Pierce, that's how so he had braces, teeth, and a little afro. So you know how long ago that shit was, you know what I'm saying? Good brother, right? But I was a watch, I was go up there, check him out. How that project was like a little more, you couldn't go in and do shit if you wasn't from there, right? But my project St. Nick, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I saw one day, it was this dude from Lincoln Prize coming out project, right? He wanted to fight this dude, right? He was a famous guy, I'm going to say the names, you know what I'm saying? He was fighting the, the, the older brother, the older brother of them, they about one to your party anyway. So he fighting them, bah, 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 getting the best of them. I was like, oh shit, damn, bah, bah, bah. I was like, he like, ragging him. I was like, damn. Then the, the other brother came in, he ragged him. Took one through over the goddamn thing. I was like, damn, this nigga, this dude's a fucking menace. He just throwing motherfuckers over the gate and hopping over and still on the ass and shit. Beat two motherfuckers up, two brothers up. No one made a move. Now I'm a young blunt watch. I'm like, is anybody going to jump in? Like, no. I'm like, ready to jump in. I'm no young, but if they say go, I mean, I'd have gone. I went. No motherfuckers ain't make a fucking move. Nobody. I was like, damn. Homeboy come for another projects. Fuck these two motherfuckers up who was known these projects. Everybody's supposed to like these dudes, and no one did shit. So it really changed my mind as a young blood. Saying, you know, I was like, I'm solo, dolo, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck these motherfuckers. Have, that's why I say, you have friends? Yes, you have friends. But most of what's my friends wasn't doing the dumb shit that I was doing or my little clique was doing. It wasn't robbing, doing dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? I got I can spot them off. The ones I say friends, and I think of today as fucking you no know, friends, you know? 
My boy Doc passed away from COVID last year. Gary Doctor, you know what I'm saying? Bump. Um, Wayne McFarlane. Um, Fuzzy. Um, who else? Fuzzy. Alan Davis who passed away. That's it, Fuzzy. Ali, my boy Ali, Ali, my no Ali, call him Champ, aka Champ, you know what I'm saying? He's like, you think my, my, my friends, you know, for me, I still think about as friends. My boy Steve, DJ Steve, DJ Stevie D, I don't know what's DJ, now they call him Stevie D, we just call him Super Steve, light skin motherfucker, that, that, he's real good, turntails. So y'all know about the DJ world? That's my brother, you know what I'm saying? There's very few of you who consider fucking friends. You no know, fat rat Tyler, that's a friend, you know what I'm saying? You got real. My boy Troy, you know what I'm saying? You know, Larry, you know, Rado. You got some people out there you do, you consider friends. But a lot of motherfuckers back in the days, they ain't no fucker friends. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't shit. They never did a goddamn thing for me, so I cannot call them friends. You know what I'm saying? Family. A friend's when you get, you got to prove that they're friends. These young bloods out there, listen. You know, just because you hang together, you smoke trees, do dumb shit, play hooky from school, that doesn't mean you're fucking friends. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for my situation, it woke me up. Because I was like, damn, we do dumb show streets, right? Dumb show streets. If you're not going to stick with me on the streets, man, you get locked up. You might become an enemy. You might be the one I got to fucking shank the fuck up. Or you come at me with some shit there, right? But it, it, I didn't see no loyalty, you know what I'm saying? And for me, I'm a real person that's, that's up, down on loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Down on loyalty, you know what I'm saying? It's like this, you know. You never leave a comrade behind. They learn in the military, you no. Know? Never leave a comrade behind, no matter what. If we go somewhere, we both coming back, we both gonna fucking perish there. You know what I'm saying? That's my mentality, but I see my the dudes that hang with their mentality is nothing like that. You know, real um unloyal motherfuckers I was hanging out with. <laughs> unloyal motherfuckers. But I say we all teens and so I know things. They see my video like, oh, oh you talk about us here. Yeah, so what fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But this is the way it is I'm trying to say, you know. When I was young I didn't have much friends. I may have thought I had friends. I can't really say I'm not thought friends because I was always staying with them. Um, not now the big giant crowd of motherfuckers anyway, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm just trying to dumb buzz out there. Be careful who you hang with. Like I told the little young blood on the block there. Be careful. Don't be talking shit too goddamn much, you know what I'm saying? You want to hang like you want to be down, but you're not on the same caliber as this little young buddy. He's a little savage. This little young buddy can see he's a good dude there. Got moms and pops in the house and shit like that. This little bass ain't got shit there, you know what I'm saying? But they do a goddamn crime and try to push all that shit at him. Now, they got to go to court, they got to do all this shit, you know. They don't get locked up, most definitely. They don't get locked up. But the whole point is now, this little young blood deal, can he handle this shit there? You know what I'm saying? Little young blood's about 18, 19, so he's not no juvenile, you know what I'm saying? He's a kid to me. Like a kid to me, I look at him. But can he, you know, take that pressure of going inside some adult prison? You know what I'm saying? Adult prison, when you're a young blood deal, he's not a gang member. He's just a good kid. I'm mean, thinking, what, what could happen to him? You know, if none of the old out there look out for him, you know, it could be real bad for him up there, you know what I'm saying? But the little savage dude there, he'll probably make because he's a little savage. I must might, might end this fucking life of talking his goddamn mouth, you know what I'm saying? But family out there, young brothers out there, be careful who you hang with. You know, be careful who you hang with. Because that person you hang with could be your fucking downfall, you know what I'm saying? Can get you locked up or even can get you fucking killed by being affiliated with a piece of shit, you know what I'm saying? With a piece of shit. If, if he's not loyal to you, you're not doing dumb shit on the street, what's he going to do? He don't give a fuck. He's a savage. Fuck you. He's going to snitch and put it all on like he did to the little young blood in the block there. I feel sorry for him. Like, damn, young blood. No. Fucked up. But at least the little young blood finished school. I was like, you might go, I mean, you might get sent for a year or some shit. Yeah, in two years, you no. Know, three, more, one to three or something like that. You come back home, you can get your life back on again. Get, get back on track, you know. Get back on track. I know he will. I'm, I'm sure he will. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a good dude. And if I'm still around, he come out there, I'm there. going to do whatever I can to help this little dude. You know what I'm saying? Brothers out there, you got to be mentors to these little young brothers out there. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them just walk around fucking blind. You no, know? like their heads cut off. You no, know? because some of the little young brothers out there don't got no parents in the house. You no, know? no fathers. You know what I'm saying? They got no fathers in the house. So they, they got no they ain't got no guidance. So therefore... It's, it's the old heads in the block, you know, the so-called big homes and shit. Guide the little young buzz in the right direction, you know. Tell them to go to school. Promote that school shit to them, you know what I'm saying? Especially the only motherfucker on the block. Deep boys on the block there. You make your money. You see this little young buzz going to school and shit there. We see them sometimes coming. Hey, hey, what's a little young buzz? Give him a little dap. 
put a little 20 in their pocket or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Give them some encouragement to stay and fuck off these streets. Don't end up like we fuck ended up. You know what I'm saying? Stay in school. Stay in the right path. You know what I'm saying? And everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Have faith in them kids, man. Show them. Give them some fucking motivation. Because I'm sick of seeing the little young bloods getting locked up for stupid shit. You know, fucking their lives up, you know what I'm saying? And lives, their lives is peer pressure. They want to be down, want to be look cool and shit, dude. Nah, don't do that shit. Don't be a fool. Fuck trying to look cool. All it goes is make you look like a goddamn fool, make you get locked up. Stop calling these motherfuckers your friends. They're not your fucking friends. They just hang around. You know goddamn what, oh, all them 10 motherfuckers right there, they, they want to go to bat for you. You know that shit, so stop... No, get realities. You're not a little 16, 15 year old kid, you know what I'm saying? Once you get like 18 years old, you got to hey, leave that shit behind. It's time to, to get your life in order, get your J-O-B, do what you got to do, school, whatever it is. Get out that circle. Get out that circle. Why? That circle's going to stay right where the fuck they are on that same block. They're not going to go nowhere. They're not going to go fucking nowhere. But if you get them books, you know what I'm saying? Give thanks and praise to the creator and ancestors every day like Unk No Punk tell you. You're going to be all right. You're going to get the fuck out the hood. That's your mission. Your mission. Get out of the hood. Mission first. Get out of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Once you got the hood, everything's going to be a little better. It's going to be better. It's not about you. It's not about you. It's about the future. You know, young blood. Because young blood, you know, you're having kids young and stuff like that. Cool. Take care of your kids. But at least keep them little kids in a bad neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Give me the bad neighborhood. You don't fucking live your whole life in this piece of shit neighborhood. Fucked up shit there. No matter if it's all good in the hood. Kiss my fucking ass. Hear that bullshit. Who says all good in the hood? But some motherfucker who there who can't get the fuck out who never been out of the goddamn hood. Understand me, young bloods? Stay in school. You know? Get that knowledge. Learn about businesses. Learn about eating healthy. Always do something positive. God, like I tell you, that little thug motherfucker he hanging with there, little cool double he hanging out with there. You know, going back for the juvie and all that, doing that dumb shit, they're going to be back on the block. You know what I'm saying, fam? And young blood, you go away for four or five years. You know, you might go down south anywhere, you know, get your job, come back, and you, you, you know, you, you're doing good, you know. So you might go to school for four years, come back to your goddamn degree. But when you come back on the block, who you going to see? That same bum-ass motherfucker you hang out with, he will still be on the block in front of the goddamn liquor store with a 40 dog in his hand. You know, ask him for, for some change or a dollar because he done fucked up, got so much felonies, he can't get a fucking decent job. His life is fucking gone. You know what I'm saying? But you, if you listen with Uncle no Punk tell you, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You're going to come back and see him up and like, you're like, yo, yo, what up, man? Yo, you're going like, you, 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 to be like me. Hey, what's up, homie? I'm out. <laughs> there's, there's no more goddamn conversation, motherfuckers. You say what's up, salute you motherfuckers, and I'm going. You understand me, young bloods? Listen to Uncle No Punk. You're going to be all right. Peace.